Hi, right, good morning, Wildcats. Welcome back to a great Thursday of learning. Want to start off again? I, 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 I seem to be having to correct everybody at the beginning of these announcements. It doesn't feel good, but some of us are not doing the right thing. Not like girls, you can tune out for me for a second here. All right, so we're getting off to these, we're doing these group restroom breaks. It, it, it's going actually fairly well. However, however, you uh, gentlemen want to clog up the urinals with toilet paper. You know we understand which which class goes which time. So if we start to see urinals being clogged, and then it, like so, for instance, a all a teacher has to do. So you understand you get you go in there and see the boys come out and tell you, hey, someone clogged the urinals. We look back one class. I'm not gonna blame the teacher. I'm just gonna tell the teacher, hey, for that restroom for your restroom break for this period from here on out, no boys get to go. And I don't, come on now. And if your parents call me, I'll say, listen, they keep clogging the bathroom. They keep clogging the urinals. That's just, that don't, stop. It's ridiculous. Also, say this now, the staff restrooms that are also the gender neutral restrooms. There's only, there's no student that should be using that unless they've gone through a gender support, gender identity support plan. You don't get to use it because you don't want to use the other bathrooms. No, not okay. You can use the other restroom when privacy just as easily, but we're not using those anymore. Period. So if a student, if you see a student in there, we're moving them. All right. And they're able to say, no, you can't use any more than if you got to we take, take a list, we'll take a list. Because this is just some of the things that we're doing around here are not okay. All right. Girls, you can tune back in on this. Now we're talking about just getting up and leaving the classroom without permission, doing whatever, just because you're mad or whatever. No. Use your coping skills and you can stay in class to learn. I should not hear on the radio some student in another class left without permission just because they were mad. You've got to somehow deal with your emotions. Talk to somebody, get a teacher, like, to talk, like, what, you know. You're not going to get up and leave because you feel like it. If that happens too, then we'll get up and leave. We'll get to go to your locker, get your things, take them down to the office, and we'll call your parents, and you can go home for a couple days. That's not okay. All right, you're here to learn, and you can't learn by just getting up and leaving a class. So, and this again, and I hate doing this, but 95% of you, 98% of you are doing the right thing. It just takes a few people. It takes a few boys to clog up the urinals. It takes a few people just to leave the class. And so just stop. Just stop. And so really, I like to catch people doing the good thing, doing the right thing. But I, like right now, though, it's not happening. Like some of you, like it, it's, it is happening, but it's like wait, oh, the overtaking of the other things are, are what's on our focus. And it's getting tiresome. And we've been through almost 75% of the year. The counselors have been working with you. Like, like the counselors are working their tails off, trying to make sure that you're in a good mental uh, frame to be in class. And then you turn around and the next period, you're out of class again. That can't be. At some point, we have to develop the tools to stay in the classroom. And if you have an immaturity where you can't stay in the classroom and need to leave because you're so mad about something, then let me know and we'll find another place for you to go to school. Because the maturity of a middle school, we didn't have this last year. We just didn't. So you guys have a lot, right now I'm talking to a lot of sixth grade students. I'm talking to a lot of new students. Like, that are bringing in some of these bad habits. We don't do that here. So if you were in case you were wondering, we don't. So again, Starting off on a, on, a, on a kind of a rough note, I understand, but let's just get it together. It's just that simple. All right, let's get to announcements. All right, today is Thursday, February the 22nd, 2024, and these are your morning announcements. Westlake Middle School is an avid school-wide side of distinction. The mission of Westlake Middle School is to reveal the genius of each wildcat through a culture of joy, respect, and excellence. We believe every person deserves to be seen, affirmed, and to grow. All right, let's make sure we get Wildcat ready, everyone. Our lanyards and IDs are around our necks. Our binders and our student organizers are with us. Backpacks and purses are in our lockers. Hats, sunglasses, and hoods are off. AirPods and phones are in our lockers. Blankets stay at home. All right, let's take a look at today's uh, schedule. We have a blue day with no advisory, which means block one, two with lunch, three, four, and five. 
Celebrating Black History Month, Excellence in Education. Today, we are talking about Kentucky State University with Hannah Deerholt from 7th Grade Avid. Also, too, I believe Miss Bostick's uh, oldest daughter, who also went here, is a student at Kentucky State at this time. They have a 65% acceptance rate, a 2.5 GPA required with a 25% graduation rate. Uh, it is known for mostly agriculture and, and different things, too, but your major is the biggest one is agriculture. Their mascot is the uh, a horse, a stallion, and location is Frankfort, Kentucky, which is actually, uh, it's right down the road from here. In-state tuition is $9,004, and out-of-state tuition is $12,882. Thank you, Hannah, for no teaching us more about Kentucky State University. All right, next student council meeting is, of course, February 27th, and then your following meeting will be March 5th after school. Um, Actually, here, too, our, our assistant superintendent wants to talk to you a bit about safety. If you have any questions or like to join, please reach out to Mr. Melrose through your advisory teacher. Don't forget about the uh, poster design competition for advisories. All PE classes report to health this week and not to the blocker room. And don't forget about our Wildcat Focus, writing your student organizer. I saw that a lot in classes yesterday. Being on time to every class, I saw mostly that happening yesterday. Uh, and your first effort needs to be your best effort. I think we're still struggling with that, but we need to make sure that's happening in all of our classes. Good luck today. I know every seventh grade math class, I know for a fact I was in with three of your classes today and you were reviewing the bingo and you were doing the whiteboard activity. You have a test today. Good luck on your two-step equation, on your two-step equation tests, all seventh grade students in Ms. Barry, Mrs. Barry, Ms. Marble and Ms. Bellamy's class. Good luck today. All right, clean up West Lane. Make sure you're helping clean up floors. I saw some messy floors. Also, too, some of us are bringing in candy and then doing whatever. No, we're going to stop doing that. If we need to figure out um, how to do that, we will stop doing that. But you got to look at messes. Quit making messes on the floors. All right, make sure we're washing our hands for 20 seconds at, after restroom and before eating. Make sure we help prevent the spread of COVID, cold, and flu. Yearbook time, uh, we have uh, one, uh, six, six last days to order a yearbook. And our, don't forget, tomorrow is our yearbook picture taken for bigger groups. And so your, your sponsor hopefully has told you what to wear. We're talking about um, all our bands and orchestras and choirs. Uh, we're talking about our uh, academic teams. We're talking about our avid, um, avid seventh and eighth grade, uh, both Excel, avid eight. We're talking about, um, couple other groups, uh, student council, things like that. Make sure you find out from your coach what you want to wear. Just wear West Lane that day. We'll get you taken care of in the picture. Wear blue, white, whatever. All right. And, or if they have a specific shirt to go, I know Bluettes and some of your choirs have specific shirts. So the bands and orchestras, so make sure you're using those. All right. Don't forget to go to honor schools and recognize your teacher. Uh, don't forget to keep your hands off each other in the hallway. Sixth graders, you know where you're supposed to be in the, and not in the seventh and eighth grade hallway. Cafeterias, please sit in the correct tables and then facing the center. Stay in your seat and have your ID. Stay in your seat until your class is called when you're coming from lunch and walk back with your teacher. The bell does not dismiss you from class, your teacher does. Uh, breakfast students, you must report directly to the cafetorium off the bus to get breakfast. Also, all food should be eaten in the cafetorium. No food should be eaten outside the cafetorium. And ref restroom privacy, students don't reach under, don't grab under, don't look. I'm talking now to sixth grade boys apparently too. Um, again, we'll stop with the boy restroom. If that's gonna be the case, you're gonna keep looking at it. You will not have to go to the restroom at all then. Uh, you won't give an appropriate privacy and we will call parents about why that's happening and that's gonna be a pretty embarrassing phone call for us to make to your parents. All cell phones in your locker between 925 and 425 they're taken if they're seen or heard and our motto is cada wildcat cada dia mejora which means every wildcat every day gets better. I also want to make sure everybody knows that the bell coming out of fourth and ninth period is 311. It says it on announcements and it says it on different places. So it's 311, not 310. So don't worry about it. That, that building off. It's a 311 bell. All right, it's three. And all the all the restroom breaks are built in. So that's when we're using them. Please make sure you respect our bathrooms. I'm going to say that in a very positive way. Respect our bathroom and we won't have any issues. Respect people going to the bathroom too. Thank you. Have a terrific Thursday.